Welcome back. Let's play Final Fantasy X. We just killed Maester Seymour. <laughs> Lord Seymour! What happened here? Dude, you don't want to know. What? What have I done? Oh yeah, just give it away. Wait a minute, it's not our fault at all. Seymour struck first, he's the bad guy. You did this? Yuna, send him. No, stop! Stay away from him, traitors! Oh, we're the traitors all of a sudden. You know, you gotta send these guys. Or they come back as monsters. Traitors! We're finished. Now hold on just a minute. Seymour's the bad guy, right? We'll just explain to everyone what happened. Oh yeah, they'll buy that. It won't be that easy. Let's get out of here. Okay, we're just gonna go with the default name for that. And now we move in to the Cloister of Trials. It's a little bit unusual for this game, because usually the Cloister of Trials happens before you reach the Chamber of the Faith and can get your new Aeon. Oh. Give me a break. What? Okay, so it's gonna make us have to go and find our way out of here, whereas on the way in, we just had to run down the ice tunnel. Now this is a shorter one, it's all basically in one big room with a basement. And it, it's kind of a little bit easier than some of the other ones you've had at this point in the game, but it can be a little bit annoying if you want to go for the destruction sphere. So you gotta push this little platform all the way down to the bottom. Then you snatch up this, this uh, Maklania sphere here. Which is what controls that piece of ice that appeared there. The ice is gone now anyway, so there's no harm in taking it out. Put it here. And push it across. And it hits that. Sends the signal up. And part of the bridge reappears. Now we need to do this for three different parts. Okay, so there's nothing over here we can do just yet. And there's nothing over there. So let's go and pull this sphere out, the Glyph Sphere. And the Glyph Sphere will go all the way down here and put it on the, uh, the uh, recess on the left. Raises that up, and ooh, look, another sphere! Well, that's two down, one to go. take this one back down to the basement and install it on the pillar. Two of the three. Now where's the last one? Well, it's been over here the whole time. Just pull this out. Our little walkway down to the basement will disappear, but we don't need to go down there anyway. At least not yet and put this in this third pillar. And what do we get? Look at that. Now we can go the entire way. But, ooh, look. Something just appeared. What happens if we were to go and use that? Let's go check that out. You step on this. You don't have to, but... I would recommend doing it. Ooh, look, part of the pathway disappeared, but that pillar has found its way up here. Oh, it, this thing floats down and... Oh, wow. What we just picked up was a destruction sphere. Let's go and snatch that. Now 
Now the destruction sphere goes uh, on the floor below, so we're gonna have to go and find a way to get down there, meaning we're gonna have to take down another one of our platforms. Keep in mind, none of this is mandatory. Just for later on in the game, if you had collected all the destruction spheres, which you have the option of going back to collect, then you're good. It allows you to get some a secret towards the end of the game. Okay, let's install this one here. Now we can get to the basement with the destruction sphere. Why he just can't carry two of these at once, I don't know. He probably has pockets, why can't he carry more than two? Okay, place this here. Bam! What do we got? A Lux Sphere. Not the greatest prize out there, but eh, we'll take it. Now we have to go and find a way to get back up there. Which is a little bit harder, because we went and turned one of our spheres into a different kind of sphere, and everything is placed in a weird place. It's really weird. What we're gonna have to do is go pull the sphere out of here, place it over here and so we can get that little block of ice back. Push the platform onto it. No, you don't need that. Put that back. No, this does not need to go there. Okay, I'm not quite sure what I was trying to do right now. But this is definitely wrong. Yeah, that was wrong. Okay, push this back down to the basement. Now we're going to have to go and swap the sphere that's inside of that with the one that we have up here. No, do not put it back. And just put this anywhere take this one out. We have to get rid of this somewhere. Probably have to go back up to the second floor for that. It really shouldn't have... I should not have bothered to put that in there before. I'm not quite sure what I was thinking. Now, okay, now pull the sphere and put it on the platform before you shove it to the pillar. You need to do it before because you won't be able to do it afterward. Bam! Platform returns. Now we don't need this one anymore. Just go put that back where we found it. And we're good to go. Damn it! I did not mean to do that. Ah, oh, the platform's gone away. I'm gonna have to redo this, but I'm not gonna make you watch me do it. Please. Give us a chance to explain. No need. I already know what I'll tell the other maesters. Meaning? Lord Seymour was the leader of the Guado before becoming a maester. You're not letting us go. Let you go? Lord Seymour would never forgive us if we did. 
Wait, wait! Jiskel's sphere! We can show it to them! Do you mean this? Right! Ah, oh, you son of a... Guado, take care of Guado affairs. Oh, wait. Run! Undy, freaking leaveable. Okay, we've got a whole house. So you can go talk to Alaka and buy some stuff if you want. Or save. And let's roll on out. Now what you gotta do is haul ass. Awaka disappears into the save point, takes it with him. You gotta stay away from these damn Guado troops because they are a lot tougher than they look. Now they're gonna catch up to you. I don't think there's any way to avoid them catching up to you for at least one or two battles. Only one. Oh. Brought a friend. Two friends. Nice. Fortunately, they're not very difficult enemies. Now, usually they're a lot tougher to kill than that. Tedious just critted on, critical on that thing, which made uh, him die in one hit. When you hit those guys, usually they'll auto potion. Use a high potion and restore 1,000 HP. So if your base damage is not at least a thousand, beating them guys is a lot tougher than I made it look. Damn, compiler, not compiler, uh, emulator is slowing down quite a bit. Not gonna make you watch all those fights. Even the music's slowing down. Now they're not going to chase you here, you're going to go back to random battles. And you're going to be just fighting, this, fighting the same kind of enemies that we had fought before. So, I'm not going to make you watch that. Although I did apparently make you watch the very beginning and the very end of the fight. So much for my editing skills. Oh, treasure test. Level 1 key sphere. We don't really need those, do we? Nothing good's hidden behind level 1. Make sure you save! Sha save! Save! Oh, can't believe I didn't save. What an idiot. Aren't any of you cold? I'm wearing so little clothes. What the hell is that? Oh! Why is it fighting with the Guado instead of. Ah, who knows? Okay, this is our boss. You didn't think that Seymour was just gonna be the only boss, did you? No, no, no. We have another boss, this weird Yeti looking thing. And this thing is tough. Took Orin down in one hit. One frickin' hit. Fortunately, he's at overdrive. Now, the fact that this boss is made that much harder by the fact that the two Guado back there are gonna be fighting just as rough and just as tough as they did in our escape from the temple. Now, remember, I didn't show you a hard battle against them, but when you hit them, they auto-potion and recover a thousand HP, and it's a kind of a pain to fight them, because they keep restoring themselves. So you gotta hit them hard, you gotta hit them fast, and not let them even a single chance to recover. So look, he auto-potioned on the Yeti thing. Let's see if I can take them all down with one hit here. That's a no. 1200 HP apiece for those guys. 900 some or 800 some is not gonna do it. Now they're fully recovered. Hands in the asses. 
But how about those Guado, though? I mean, really. The Maester of Yevon Seymour goes and does evil stuff. He goes and he kills his own father, apparently just for the purpose of gaining power. And the rest of the Guado seem to be okay with it. So okay with it that they're willing to cover up the evidence that he killed his father. What the hell? What does that mean for the organization as a whole now? You can look at this as being just sort of a Watto thing. It was Lord Jiskel, who was Seymour's father, that introduced Yevon to the Guado. Before then, they were a separate entity from their religion of Yevon. And I'm guessing that they didn't... The, the Guado have a very high opinion of themselves. And taking part in Yevon introduces them into a larger society, something they probably don't think is really that advantageous for them, because they're sort of a, a member of the society and not the leaders of it. Even though Jiskel and Seymour were maesters of Yevon, that doesn't mean that they have the absolute power over it. Perhaps this was just a move by the Guado to gain more power. Who knows what kind of person Jiska was. We didn't really see him before, except for in F-Sphere. So maybe he just didn't have the big ambitions that, that Seymour has to sort of take control of Yevon as a whole. Uh -huh. A lot of good thunder does ya. Yeah. Ice, yeah, that'll help. Oh, jeez, he hits so hard. As you can tell, I'm definitely going about this wrong. Even fire isn't really that great of an option, using magic, because I'm not doing enough damage to make a huge difference. Oh, just not enough damage. And now he's fully recovered. Damn it. Ugh, Titus is unconscious. This is so not working out right, is it? Should have saved, shouldn't I? Just keep recovering that gigantic thing. What's this? He's susceptible to power break? Meaning he doesn't have that strong of an attack anymore? Huh. Oh boy, summoning another Aeon, that's what you're thinking right now. Didn't work for you before. Why do you think it's going to work for you now? Oh, but it will work out for me now. Let's go check this out. Physical attack is nothing worth noting. But look what happens when they hit her a few times. Now that power break is gone, and they tend to like to use the blizzard spell, so we're actually going to cure Shiva. Shiva. And we can use Diamond Dust. Oh, 
overdrive. Overkill on a two guado. Now that they're gone, they're gonna go cast Shell and Protect on this gigantic freak. So he's gonna be harder to damage now. But since he doesn't have his two little goonies flanking him and helping him out, the fight becomes a lot easier. Protected. He's also uh, apparently susceptible to delay attack, so you might want to use that to uh, keep him from just beating the piss out of you. Oh, Petitus is ready to go. Overwhelming, wasn't it? Don't worry too much about having low HP, because as far as I know, this thing can only attack one character at a time. So he's not going to be able to hit, not going to be able to take out your entire group. So long as you have Phoenix Downs or Eunice Life Magic, you're going to be okay. Missing a lot. How do we make him miss more? Dark attack. And what's he susceptible to? Dark attack. Now we can't see shit. Probably should have done this earlier. Now you just wail on him. Sleep? Not so much. Wow, these boss battles do take a long time. Some of these can be 20, 30 minutes long if you let them go that long. I mean, if they can go that long. It's insane. Now, even though this one is pretty much in the bag, I'm still going to have to wail on this thing for quite a while. Now his darkness is gone, so may want to pull uh, Waka back out there to dark attack him again. And he's dead. Praise be to Yevon. That's what I would have said, if I was a follower of Yevon. We were all there, and in one piece, even if I had a headache from wondering what was in store for us next.
We're under the lake ice, aren't we? Look, that's the bottom of the temple. <sighs> We've fallen a long way. What now, I wonder? What now? Uh, you act first and think later, don't you? I mean, can't you be a little more responsible? We're all depending on you, you know? A lecture. No, no, no. <laughs> Just a suggestion. You should place trust in your friends. But you can't expect someone to protect you all the time. You would do well to remember that. Is that a lecture? It's advice. Orin does come across as a little reckless, doesn't he? <sighs> hey, Waka, would you cheer up? Uh, look, we only did what we had to do. It doesn't matter. Don't you see? I've always walked the path of Yevon. But Seymour but didn't. Now, I'm a traitor. How could this happen? Damn! It's not Riku's fault either. Huh? You don't know how I feel. Yeah, I see Waka's not able to differentiate between Yev and the religion and Yev and the organization. Okay. She's breathing fine and all. How are Lulu and Waka? Hmm. Well, Waka's in shock. Can't blame him either. And Lulu? Well, she's just the same as always. I didn't talk to her. She's so together. All grown up, I guess. I guess. Well, just give me five or six more years. <laughs> so, Kamari, how do we get out of here? How the hell would he know? Hey, don't change the subject. We climb. Kimari too. Only those who try will become. Huh? I think he means you have to work hard if you want to be like Lulu. Oh, I will. Kimari think Riku should stay Riku. Huh? Hey, are you saying I'll never be like Lulu? Kimari. Saying you shouldn't. <laughs> You laugh at a time like this. Does seem inappropriate, doesn't it? Uh, Yuna? Looks cold, doesn't it? And what kind of lake doesn't have any water in it, just a sheet of ice over the top? Like that makes any sense. I wanted to confront Maester Seymour about his father, Lord Jiskol. I wanted to convince him to turn himself in to Yevon's judgment. In exchange for marriage? Yes, if that's what it took. So, what did Seymour say? He didn't say anything. Now, I, now I don't even think it was worth it. I should have told you what I was going to do. Enough. Dwelling in the past is futile. Hey, you don't have to say it like that. You want to waste time listening to her regrets? You don't have to say it like that. Our immediate concern is Yuna's pilgrimage. Are you willing to go on? Yes. But then, do you think Yevon will allow it? The Faith are the ones that give power to the summoners. Not the temples or the teachings. If the temples try to stop us, then we will defy Yevon if we must. Whoa! I can't believe you said that! Sir Oren? Count me out. We have to atone to make up for the sins we have committed. Of course, it's not like I ever liked Maester Seymour, yeah? No way I'll ever forgive him for killing Lord Jiskel. And for trying to do us all in two, you know? But still, the bunch of us going against Yevon? No way! But still, we have transgressed. 
and must face our punishment. We must go to Bevel. We must speak with Maester Micah and explain what has happened. There is no other way, I think. I agree. Uh, Sir Oren? So it is decided. Will you come with us? I am the troublemaker, after all. Yeah, that's right. You can always count on Aaron to complicate things. Yeah. Kamari roars and Aaron runs off, and... I never asked you to follow me. Hey, but that's what friends are for. Right? Yep. Thank you. Huh? Friends, huh? <laughs> Man, how can you all act like nothing's wrong? Must got nerves of steel or something. You're too edgy. Listen to the hymn and calm down. Is that coming from the temple? Yes, it is Yevon's gift. It soothes the hearts of the faithful. Jack used to sing this song. <laughs> yeah, over and over. <laughs> but not this good, that's for sure. Another trait you share. The what? You were listening? Jace, can I get a little privacy? Your singing reminded me of Spira. All right, you're not originally from Xanarkin, are you? You homesick? Maybe. Say, how'd you get to Xanarkind anyway? Sin? Uh huh. I thought so. That proved it. Sin was the link between Xanarkand and Spira. Which means, if we kill Sin, I'll never be able to go home. The singing stopped. There's something here! The crowd! Watch out! 